this video, I'm going to walk through how to change the mobile styles for the menu on your Squarespace website. So the first thing we're going to want to do, you're going to be in your editor here. You know you're in your editor if you have this menu on the left. Any page of your website, while you're here, any page of your website, just click the edit button. And once you do that, you're now in the editor. So what you want to do is scroll all the way up to the top until you see this edit site header. Once you click on that, you'll get this little menu here. So it says global, has this little globe here desktop and mobile. So when you click on mobile, you'll see it pulls you into mobile right away, which is nice. And then from there, you could adjust the header layout. But let's talk about the actual menu. So if I click overlay menu here, you can make adjustments, right? So you could have everything over to the left, you could have things centered or right justified. And then you could work on link spacing 3.5 vertical width is so interesting or VW for this is an interesting measurement, but it is what it is. So you can make adjustments like this. I think 3.5 is great. Three is good in this case. And this is a little bit too close. Let's see what two looks like. Two can work. I think three is ideal. It gives everything space. What's really nice is that they add the social links if you have them in your main navigation and they add the call to action. So it fits and it looks really, really nice on your website. So let's go to colors. Here you could adjust the color of the actual navigation, which is really nice. So if I go dark, let's see this dark one, that's what it would look like. I could go to dark two or try something else. For now, let's just try dark one. So it looks a little bit different. And then let's go back and then go back and we're good to go. What's really nice about that, that is all the styling for mobile. So you can make all those adjustments on mobile. If you go to desktop, you'll see here that it did not adjust any of the styling here. So you could keep all your styling, spacing, everything for desktop in its own way. And the reason that's important, if I go back to global, you'll see here, if I click on color, you'll see this has its own color setting, which technically is for desktop, but you'll see here, I have it set to transparent. So if I take this, turn this off, and then I choose bright two, well, I could have bright two for desktop. And then if I go to mobile, I can keep for the colors dark one. So you could have a separate look and feel for the color on desktop and mobile, which is a really nice feature. The only thing to consider so we adjusted the global style here to be bright too. So if I go back and then I click on mobile, you'll see that the mobile navigation background color is going to be that bright too that we selected from global. So keep that in mind. That's how those two work together. So I'm going to go back to color because I like the transparent on this demo website. I'm going to keep it like that. And then when I go to mobile, it's going to keep transparent as well. And finally, I didn't talk about it yet, but the menu icon here, you could adjust it to be any of these icons that are built into Squarespace and go from there. My recommendation for 80, 90% of websites is going to be the hamburger menu. It is the clearest, easiest, and most people know what it is when they see it. The two lines is nice if you're a designer or portfolio or showing off your work or more of a creative person. Uh, but most people know the hamburger menu. This is interesting. It's nice. It's a cool spinoff. The plus sign to me is confusing. I think it's cool, but I also don't think it's the best user experience. So I highly recommend the hamburger menu to get started. And then so we'll save that and then go back in and you'll see our mobile menu is set up. So it looks really nice uh, with the folders too. It works really well, looks beautiful. Spacing is really nice. The way it goes back and forth is nice. This little animation is gorgeous. So there you go. You've just adjusted your mobile menu. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it lets the YouTube algorithm know some important information, but it lets me know that you got value from this content. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And with that, if you got value from this video and if you're looking for more content just like this, I publish a new video every single week, if not multiple videos every week, hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.